Hey everyone, if you don't already know me, my name is Ethan and I'm a first year medical student here at UCLA. I've been making YouTube videos as a form of mentorship and self-reflection, so here's one and I really, really hope you enjoy watching. had some lectures this morning on the respiratory system. It is our first week learning about respiration, super exciting stuff. And we went to our favorite Trader Joe's. This is John over here. We got a, we got a lot of stuff. Frequent customer. Frequent customer, yeah. Okay, just had a really, really nice dinner with my friend Saki. I uh, went to this ramen place in Sautel. Now I'm here at my friend Andrew's apartment. He very, very kindly is letting me do my laundry here. So I'm just gonna do some laundry now. Okay, heading to anatomy lab right now. I got like the worst possible sleep last night. So hopefully I have time to grab a coffee beforehand. Okay, had anatomy this morning. Had a super, super awesome session. We were learning about the nasal cavity. And now just went to Trader Joe's, got some lunch. I'm gonna head to a little talk on street medicine and laws and policies surrounding it. Okay, so super exciting. This YouTuber, probably my favorite, uh, named Kirsten Dirksen. You have to check her out. I think she's coming to do a little feature story about me and living in a van during med school. So I spent this afternoon just cleaning up around here, making it look nice and pretty. And she should be coming any minute. Okay, so we have Kirsten and we have Nico. They came and visited me very, very kindly. And I'm so happy they did and they got to do a little video about me living in the van. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're excited Thank about you for it. Thank inviting us. Oh, yes. so yeah. yeah. Super inviting, by the way. It feels good. I, I just was just saying that the space feels really good. Yeah, and yeah. they've traveled all around the world, right? Well, you know, <laughs> I mean, not everywhere, <laughs> but... <laughs> but we do travel. Yeah, yeah. Capturing people, living kind of yeah. alternative lifestyles. Yeah, we started just because um, Nico's idea to start like a, a environmental sustainability kind of website, but back in 2006. Nice. Um, so we kind almost of almost pre YouTube. We almost. got van life and, and tiny houses and all that kind of stuff kind of pretty early just because we were looking for people and then we found people yeah. that were doing it so early. Gene Schaefer and Sebastopol 2007. Yeah. yeah. That was tiny house. And lots of like micro apartment stuff yeah. pretty early on in that kind of stuff. Too. Yeah, but that, example, it all plays Christian's into. Micro apartment in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. It all ties in, right? Yeah. Tiny apartments, tiny vans, tiny. <laughs> But it's not always tiny. Sometimes it's just like, you know, living with a heat pump or yeah. whatever it is. So no. your videos are like really inspiring for me and like so so incredible. I, I watched so many of them as I was thinking about this. Yeah. Oh nice. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much thank for you. being here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> of course. Having some crumpets and avocado for dinner tonight. respiratory mechanics and now I'm just spending the rest of this morning over at the library just getting in some work. I have a lot of catch up a lot of catch up work to do. Okay, just made it back to Westwood, drove Hillary back, 
we had a home visit with a patient. I think there's maybe four of us and then the attending and we go into the patient's home and we kind of see how they're doing, gather more of a history and see how we can work towards addressing their needs and their concerns. Our clinical site is part of the extensivist team program and what the extensivist program does is works with patients who have really complex cases and many different comorbidities going on and works to help reduce their number of hospital visits, works kind of collaboratively as a team to make sure that they're getting a really like holistic and well-rounded and quality care. So it's been such a privilege to kind of work with this team and get to see patients and get to learn their stories. Just a really, really meaningful site visit today. It was all the way in the valley, so a bit of a trek and it was very hot, <laughs> but doing good. It's about four o'clock now, I'm gonna make some more food and then bike over to the med school. So we just came from the 13th annual Ethics Symposium. What did you guys think? I thought it was cool. I'm really glad that we showed up today and I'm glad that we stayed until the end. Yeah, really great experience. We got to hear from a lawyer and a philosopher and a public health researcher about different ethical, political issues in healthcare. And yeah, I learned a lot. Awesome. What about you, John? Yeah, I thought it was one of the best events we've had so far at UCLA. Cool. Um, so it's just good conversations, thinking about very tough questions facing the world in terms of healthcare, physicians, and emergencies around the globe. So it was very good. It was such a privilege to be able to kind of sit next to you both and just think thoughtfully about these issues and learn more from each other. So thank you. Thank you, Ethan. It's about 10 o'clock, gonna leave the med school now. Had a really good study sesh after the ethics conference. What an incredible, incredible day. A busy day, but an incredible day. Each day, I just remind myself how grateful I am to be here in LA, to be studying what, I, what I'm studying. Okay, just did a little workout, took a shower, now heading to the med school, have a large group on pulmonary function. Just in the student lounge, making some oats right now for breakfast. I'm gonna head downstairs for the lecture. Okay, we're at the holy event. How's the food, Jonah? The food is magnificent. Yeah, this chicken is super smoky, and the tikka masala that was here was so creamy. It, it's really nice. Awesome. And Haiti? I endorse everything you <laughs> said. Ritesh, what does holy mean to you? Well, holy is a festival of color where people get together and celebrate by throwing powder, as you can see. And it's really about, you know, kind of like renewing things, renewing relationship, and just kind of forgetting and forgiving the past, and just, you know, celebrating together. Beautiful. Thanks for sharing. Keshav, what does holy mean to you? So to me, holy is about the renewal of thinking about the things that I really care about. <laughs> no, 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 no. So to me, holy is the color that we throw symbolizes unity in the face of diversity, which I think is a, a great way to describe what India is all about. And also it's about the renewal of relationships and the renewal of the different things in your life that you actually like. So as opposed to like constantly writing resolutions and thinking about how you want to reinvent yourself, holy is about kind of recommitting to the things that you like about your life and like about your family and, the, and your friends and uh yeah that's that's what holy is to me awesome thank you so much <laughs> you're welcome Ethan. arzu arzu what does holy mean to you 
Holy means being mischievous and throwing <laughs> Okay, first, apologies for the crazy, crazy hair. I still have a bunch of color in it, but I didn't film too much today, so I wanted to do a quick, quick recap. So this morning, we had a large group on pulmonary function tests. I found it very, very difficult because I'm not super caught up, so it was a bit of a struggle for me, but that's okay. And then we had spirometry lab a little later where we got to learn about restrictive and obstructive pulmonary diseases in real time, which was super, super cool. And then this afternoon we had our doctoring course, our FOP course, where we got to learn about nutritional counseling. So Jitesh uh, interviewed our standardized patient that came in and we then worked through some cases afterwards as a small group and they were mostly pediatric cases today. So we had a case uh, involving a child suffering from malnutrition and suspected child abuse and then also a child struggling with obesity. So we kind of discussed just ways to address both of those cases. I thought it was a really, really meaningful session. Honestly, FOP, this doctoring course is probably definitely <laughs> my favorite course we have in our first year. It's been so, so incredible and I just love my group so, so much. And then this, after FOP, we had a little holy celebration, which was really, really awesome. I loved it so much. And now it's about seven o'clock. I think I'm just going to stick around the med school for the next two hours or so. And then bike back, take a shower, I think at the gym, and then bike all the way back. That's the plan at least. Okay, it is 7 a.m. Just walking to a lecture on air pollution, and then we have a case-based learning session. Today is gonna be an amazing day. I can just feel it. Oh. <laughs> The five dollar meal. Hey Haiti, how was CBL today? Uh, it was good. We talked about cystic fibrosis and some other lung diseases. It was good. It was okay. a lot. Awesome. Okay, just had an incredible, incredible anatomy session. I was in the cadaver labs for about two hours uh, with a tutor as well as I think, two other classmates. Wait, no, three other classmates. And we were looking at basically the nasal cavity as well as like kind of all the arteries and the nerves that run through it. Pretty challenging stuff. And we were also looking at osteology kind of of the face. Pretty difficult, but learned a lot. Had an amazing, amazing tutor. I think I'm gonna stick around the med school for maybe an hour more before I get hungry and just do a little bit more work because I haven't been super productive today. I don't know if this is a bad idea, but I'm gonna throw these tofu chunks on my avocado toast just for some added protein. So we'll see how it tastes. Okay, here is the final product. Hey man, what's your name? My name is Jaden, dude. Jaden, well yeah. thank you so much for this awesome, awesome Absolutely. sweater. Absolutely. Yeah. Where can people uh, find your find your stuff? Oh, I'm all over the place. See, I'm from the San Fernando Valley, but you can tap in with me from San Fernando Valley all the way to SD, anywhere in between. I'm always all over the place running around, so best to follow my page. It's at salvage.treasure. Salvage.treasure. Some people forget the D and the N, but <laughs> salvage.treasure. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks so right much. On, right on. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. shout out to Unravel at UCLA. Hey, thank you for inviting me. It's a really great place over here. You got a lot of good vibes over here. Live performances, great vendors and whatnot too. So y'all should definitely tap in over here. It's a live performance. Everything's so vivid, honestly. Yeah.
Okay, just did a little mini mini workout. Took a shower, now heading back to the med school to get in some more work. Okay, so this block we have been learning about the gastrointestinal system, metabolic disorders, and then pulmonary medicine. And to be honest, this block is kicking my butt really, 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 really badly. So I was here yesterday on a Saturday working with my friend Jason for most of the day. Wasn't the most productive in the beginning because I had a lot going on outside of uh, studying, but I'm here back at the med school. I got here around eight o'clock and I'm trying to put in as much work as I can. And then the plan is to do some beekeeping. So really looking forward to that. <laughs> so just gonna do a little bit more work. Wish me luck, wish me luck. Okay, walking over to do some beekeeping. I cannot begin to tell you how excited I am for this. box at the staple so finally got around to picking up my mail excited okay so I've been at the med school all evening trying to do some work but to be honest this weekend I have not been too productive at all but that's for a very good reason besides the beekeeping uh, this week Kirsten Dirksen who is my absolute absolute favorite filmmaker. She makes videos about self-sufficiency, alternative living, simple living. She came to LA and actually interviewed me. And today, very excitingly, the post went live. Oh, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, it's right here on her YouTube channel. So you can go check it out. It's kind of a, just a little video about me and the story about my van. Such an honor to be able to be featured. But I've been kind of like going through the comments and just thinking, thinking about life, you know, asking all those, those big questions. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please show it some love, give it a big thumbs up, consider subscribing and leaving a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day.